Hello students, welcome to Math Freaks. Today we are going to discuss Carmichael's function. This is a bonus concept. This is not useful for IOQM, but I just felt like giving it because it is very interesting and it may be useful in your future. Okay, so let us discuss Carmichael's function first of all. Now, what is Carmichael's function? So, Carmichael's function is first of all denoted by lambda. So to make you understand, let's say lambda of any number n or Carmichael's function of any number n is k. So uh, according to the definition, k is the smallest value and I will make you understand why it is the smallest value. k is the smallest value. Smallest value. Now listen to the condition such that such that is very important very important otherwise you will think that this is the smallest value such that a raised to the power k is congruent to one modulo n right k a raised to the power k is congruent to one modulo and this is the definition of commercials function where a and n are co prime to each other this is a very important condition you should never forget this a and n must be co prime to each other now if you don't understand this format then please consider reading the modular arithmetic post in our space there i have briefly explained what is modular arithmetic and given all of its property so did you understand that lambda of any number say n or commercial function of n it gives a value the smallest value such that a raised to the power that value is congruent to one modulo n where a and n are co prime to each other very bookish statement right let me explain you with an example it will be very helpful for you now I know that you don't know how to find the commercials function of any number but consider this example I say that lambda of 5 or commercial function of 5 is 4 I will show you how to find this out but for now just I'm letting you know that commercial function of 5 is 4 right so according to the uh, definition of the function i have to find this is our n right this is our n and this is our k so i have to find a such that n and a are co prime so there are many numbers that are co prime with 5 for now let's say 7 right 7 is co prime to uh, 5 so according to the definition it will be 7 raised to the power 4 must be co prime to 5 sorry 7 raised to the power 4 is congruent to 1 modulo 5 and this is actually true if you just calculate the value you will find that the remainder is 1 whenever this value is divided by 5 i think 7 raised to the power 4 is 2401 so you can find that one is the remainder right so i hope that this is clear is this clear if you still did not get it i will show you how to find the commercial function of any number then you can try this out by your own now actually the thing that I have said here that is a raised to the power k is congruent to 1 modulo n this is actually Carmichael's theorem right now let me tell you once again so that it becomes very clear now Carmichael's theorem states that if if a and n are co prime to each other then a raised to the power lambda of n is congruent to 1 modulo n right this is commercials not function this is commercials theorem we have entered commercials theorem i hope this is clear i have explained you this with an example right now the question is that how to find commercials function of any number i am going to explain you this right now so there are three ways i'm um, like three properties of commercial's function right i'm going to sh actually four i have not included the fourth property in the post because i wanted to explain this in this video so let's begin with the first so the first one states that commercial function of 2 raised to the power n is equals to phi function of 2 raised to the power n now what is phi function phi or phi some say phi some say phi so phi function is basically Euler's Euler's torsion function is also called phi function 
if you don't know what is Euler's torsion function again please read the Euler's torsion function post in the space this is Euler's torsion function I hope this is clear right now lambda of 2 raised to the power n is equals to phi of 2 raised to the power n for all n less than 3 this is the condition that n must be less than 3 then only lambda of 2 raised to the power n is equals to phi of 2 raised to the power n i hope this is clear now n also we know that this is natural number right so the only possible values of n are 2 that is 1 and 2 so let me show you how to find it so lambda of 2 raised to the power say first of all 1 is phi of 2 raised to the power 2 right because 1 this is 1 so this is obviously less than 3 right so it, this will be phi of 2 and phi of any prime number phi of any prime number is p minus 1 i hope that you know this property so this will be nothing but 1 right am i right yes i am right now if we consider the next case that is 2 raised to the power 2 so lambda of 2 raised to the power 2 will also be equals to phi of 2 raised to the power 2 right because 2 is less than 3 right and how to find this i have shown you that phi of any number n is equals to n multiplied by 1 minus 1 by p1 1 by p2 that 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 you can again check the previous post so this will be nothing but 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 by 2 and this is 2 so we have found out that commercial's function of 2 raised to the power 2 is nothing but 2 right i hope that this property is clear now let's move on to the next property of Karmichel's function so the next property is kind of a similar uh, that is lambda of 2 raised to the power n is equals to half of phi of 2 raised to the power n for all n greater than or equals to 3 if n is equals to 3 or greater than 3 then you have to use this condition now you can uh, uh, you can just simplify this expression as this can be written as half multiplied by 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 1 minus half right this is the phi of 2n so this is nothing but 2 raised to the power n minus 2 right am i clear you can do this by yourself i know that you can so either you write that lambda of 2 raised to the power n where n is greater than or equals to 3 is equals to half of phi raised to the power phi 2 raised to the power n or you can write that lambda of 2 raised to the power n is equals to 2 raised to the power n minus 2 for all n greater than or equals to 3 right now let's move on to the third property which is very simple lambda of any prime number prime number raised to the power n is equals to phi of prime number raised to the power n for all prime number greater than 3 right for all prime number greater than 3 and n belongs to natural number as we all know perfect this is also an important all these three are important right i hope you do not forget these properties now moving on to the most important property is the fourth property that i wanted to discuss in this lecture the fourth property is that phi of a composite number now we have seen how to find the sorry lambda of a composite number right so we have seen how to find the lambda of a uh, 2 raised to the power any natural number and we have also seen how to find the lambda of a prime number but now we will discuss the very most important thing which is how to find the lambda of a composite number this is a composite number right if this is a composite number then it will have a prime factorization say the prime factorization is p1 raised to the power alpha 1 multiplied by p2 up to, and dotted up to p k so this will be nothing but lcm of lambda of p1 alpha 1 multiplied by lambda of p2 alpha 2 up to p k raised to the power alpha k and obviously here is the okay now i know this looks very complicated but this is very easy believe me let me show an example then it will be very very easy to understand 
let's take the example of 12 right 12 lambda of 12 how to find 12 12 is nothing but 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 3 right so according to this one this will be the LCM of lambda of 2 raised to the power 2 and this is not multiply okay this is commas comma lambda of uh, so lambda of 2 raised to the power 2 comma lambda of 3 right so this is nothing but phi of 2 raised to the power 2 right because 2 is smaller than 3 as we discussed in the previous property and lambda of 3 the which is pan it will be nothing but phi of 3 right now if you this is phi of 3 right if you find the lcm of this you will find this is as 2 okay perfect no so this was a very basic example you can find on my okay let me just show you another example right so another example we can take of say 14 14 or say 20 right 20 is a bigger number so lambda of 20 so what is the prime factorization of 20 20 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 or equals to 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 5 so again LCM of lambda of 2 raised to the power 2 comma lambda of 5 again this is a similar case this will be nothing but uh, LCM okay LCM of phi of 2 raised to the power 2 comma phi of 5 this is nothing equals to 4 but equals to 4 this okay because from here we will get 2 and from here we will get 4 so this is 4 lcm i hope this is clear now how to find the the lambda of any composite number you can even try with some bigger numbers like 180 200 or whatever you feel like okay but this is the basic are your basics clear now how to find the lambda of any number any composite number to be very specific right i hope that all these four properties are very clear to you after watching this lecture please read the post that i have made in the space okay now let's move on okay this is kamsha's theorem which i have told you i am telling you once again okay now kamsha's function says that if a and n are co prime to each other then a raised to the power lambda of n is congruent to one modulo n okay and i have also shown you an example now okay now you can say that why i have written that lambda of 5 is 4 right because 5 is the prime so we can write this as 5 of 5 which is nothing but 4 perfect okay now now in the post i have mentioned if you just read the post carefully in the last line i mentioned that that the Kamschel's theorem is stronger than Euler's theorem okay now Euler's theorem I know you don't know but whenever I will post the Euler's theorem you will find that now fr from the properties that we discussed you already uh, found out that phi of it okay lambda of n is either equals to phi of n right whenever 2 raised to the power 2 uh, sorry 2 raised to the power n and where n is less than 3 then it is equal or phi of n is less than sorry lambda of n is less than phi of n i get confused between the phi and lambda sorry for that so lambda of n is less than phi of n for n greater than or equals to 3 so you can say that lambda of n is either less than or equals to phi of n now I this shows that lambda of n is smaller so now you can imagine why it is stronger because once you will read euler's theorem euler's theorem you will find that it is nothing but in the place of lambda n it is just phi of n this is euler's theorem okay this is euler's theorem so since phi of n is greater than lambda of n so we can say that this commercials function is stronger than the euler's theorem right and also in the fourth property where you see the lcm right if you compare like phi, the phi function of 12 and if you consider the lambda function of 12 you will see, or 180 or any number you'll 
ओके और द लैमडा इज़ वेरी स्मॉलर दैन द फाइव फंक्शन दिस इज वट इट मीन्स वेन आई से दैट कामिशल फंक्शन इज मोर स्ट्रॉगर और स्ट्रॉगर दैन ऑयल इज थ्यूरम दो यू हैव नॉट स्टडीड बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट पोस्टेड सो आई एम कंसिडर दैट यू डोंट नो वट इज ऑयल इज थ्यूरम सो यू विल नो वंस आई पोस्ट राइट so let's move on i hope that this theorem is also clear and now we are going to do a very very beautiful question so i hope that all of this is clear the property is the theorem the function right now let's move on to the problem okay so this is the question a very simple question a very beautiful question so the question is find the remainder when 11 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 1967 is divided by 10 raised to the power 1968 so this question is based on karmshell's theorem so for your understanding let me write the theorem again so the theorem says that if a and n are co prime to each other then a raised to the power karmshell's function of n is congruent to one modulo n okay this was the theorem so from after seeing the question one thing becomes very clear that i have to put n is equals to 10 raised to the power 1968 right and if i put n equals to this then i have to put a is equals to 11 so a is equals to 11 this too i have concluded by reading the question and you should also so a now we have to look if a and n are co prime to each other which in this case they are because this is 11 and this is 10 so obviously a pair of consecutive integers are co prime and this is raised to some power so this will also be co prime to 11 so we can write that a and n are co prime so all the conditions are satisfied now we, the main task is to find the karmshell's uh, function of 10 raised to the power 1960 so if you have understood the fourth property and all the properties then it is really easy for you to find this let us do this so karmshell's function of 10 raised to the power 1968 we can write okay now the prime factorization is 2 raised to the power 1968 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1968 isn't it so it will be nothing but lcm of karmshell's function of 2 raised to the power 1968 and uh karmshell's function of 5 raised to the power 1968 correct now see this is in the form 2 raised to the power n and in this condition n is greater than or equals to 3 actually greater than so this will be nothing but phi of okay so sorry half of phi of 2 raised to the power 1968 or we can write this as 21968 minus 2 as we have discussed right and here's the lcm as we have discussed right we have discussed this thing that this can also be written as 2 raised to the power n minus 2 if n is greater than or equals to 3 for this case 5 is a prime and it is raised to some power so this will be simply okay this will be simply phi of 5 days to the power 1968 which if you do some calculations there will be a uh, 4 multiplied by 5 days to power 1967 if i'm not wrong i hope that this is the result so after this okay i hope that you have noted all this now so it was lcm of 2 raised to power 1966 because we have subtracted 2 and 4 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1967. So it is very easy to find the lcm. It is nothing but 2 raised to power 1966 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1967. Right? This is lambda of 10 raised to power uh, 1968. Now I can make a conclusion. that this thing this thing divides this thing divides 10 raised to the power 1968 right obviously if you just do the calculation you will find that it divides right 
and the if you multiply this by 4 then you will get this result if you multiply this by 4 you will get the result so can't we write this like using euclid's division lemma we can obviously write this as 10 raised to the power 1968 multi uh, sorry is equals to a multiplied by lambda of 1 10 raised to the power 1968 isn't it how we have written this using euclidean's division lemma okay now if you have reached up to this conclusion then the question is done right let me write this okay let me write this here so the conclusion that we got was 10 raised to the power 1968 can be written as a multiplied by karmishal's function of 10 raised to the power 1968 now according to using karmishal's uh, theorem earlier we have concluded that lambda of 10 raised to the power 19 68 is congruent to 1 modulo 1968 sorry 10 raised to the power 1968 right that's what we have concluded 10 raised to the power 1968 array we have concluded this in this space right here you see this one okay so if this is so and we have read in the modular arithmetic that if a is congruent to some b modulo n okay then we can raise it to the power k such that k belongs to integer so we can always since a here is an integer and you can find the is the value of 4 a is value is 4 so if we raise it to the power a a then it will be then it will come into multiply then it will be nothing but 10 raised to the power 1968 is convert to if since 1 is raised to the power a so it will be obviously 1 modulo 19 sorry 10 raised to the power 1968 so our answer was 1 answer was 1 i hope that you have understood and if you have any question then you can always go to our website and have a live chat with our team or you can comment down below i will get back to you as soon as i can hope you like this video thanks for watching bye bye